Okay, so my parents have been married for 40 years. Whoa. And they are perfectly content hardly ever seeing each other. So it's kind of exactly what you would expect. That's really encouraging. <laughs> sign me up for that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, well, what are your parents like? Uh, well, my mom is... What? A serial killer? Republican? <laughs> Jehovah's Witness? What? She's a lesbian. Sort oh. of. Kind of. Sort of. How is somebody sort of a lesbian? Well, she, she's gay, okay. I think. She just doesn't know it yet. Or won't admit it. Or I don't really know. Clearly. <laughs> well, <laughs> the problem is I wasn't really uh, planning on this level of a deep dive on date number two. But uh, OK, here we go. So my parents got divorced like 20 years ago. And around the same time, my mom's best friend, Linda, left her husband. And then when my sister and I left for college, Linda moved in. To your house? Yeah, to my mom's house, yeah. I call them the uh, live-in, joint-checking, non-sexual domestic life partners. To their faces? No, I'm not an asshole. Um, OK, well, that's good to know. <laughs> so do you just assume that she's? I mean, have you ever? actually asked her? It's not really something dudes talk about with their mothers. But my sister asks all the time. And what does your mom say? She used to deny it pretty hard. Yeah. But over the last few years, she's at least conceded that it's a valid assumption. OK, how gay are we talking about? <laughs> well, no PDA. But all we're right. talking cargo shorts, visors. <laughs> we're talking tools, <laughs> the coexist bumper sticker on the back of the SUV. They, they have all the stuff. OK. They always find themselves in incriminating situations. Such as? Well, are you sticking around for dinner? I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, maybe. What are you thinking? I don't know. Kind of in the mood for tuna salad. What's that? Linda's Christmas gift. Can't wait to give it to her. Kevin, this is your sister. I know you're way too cool to check voicemails, but what I have to say will not go well in a text. If our mother doesn't want people thinking she's a lesbian, she shouldn't act like a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. She bought her a vibrator? Uh, technically, it was a back massager. What, is that not how completely platonic friends interact? Look, I love a good massage, right? Just as much as the next girl My does. My sister sees them no differently than an old married couple who don't have sex anymore. Are you sure that they don't? Again, not something dudes talk about with their mothers. But. Oh, hey, Tamara, I was thinking. When the baby comes, you and Michael should come stay here for the first week or two. Well, that's actually a really good idea. Are you sure? Of course, it would be our pleasure. You can use my room. I'm sleeping in Linda's bed now anyway. So clearly they're boning. Oh, can we not? What, would you rather your mom be boning a man? I would rather us not talk about my mom in a sentence where bone is the verb. Please get out. <laughs> <up. laughs> You're sensitive. <laughs> OK, what about Linda? What about, does she have any kids? Yeah. All right, what do they think about all this? Well, Linda's son, Andrew, is married to an idiot. And one night, maybe our daughter wouldn't act like that if she weren't around your dyke mother all the time. And just to make it worse, Andrew then went and told Linda what his dumbass wife said. Ugh, and how did Linda take that? She wrote a letter to a prize of a daughter-in-law saying, we're not lesbians, Mag is my confidant, blah, blah, blah. Wait, what's a Mag? It's my mom's initials. <laughs> Her and Linda are big fans of brevity. They even made a word mesh to their last names. Oh, a word mesh? Galates. Gil what? Gilbert plus Kates. It's Galates. Oh, my. Wait, did they do this legally, or is this just like? No, oh, no, 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 oh, nope. I... But everything that they own is labeled Galates. <laughs> Folding tables, chairs, coolers, Galates. Once, I couldn't figure out the Wi-Fi password, and then I was like, well, I, I should try. No, and it worked. Of course it worked. <laughs> I kind of feel like you're making this up. I'm just not creative <laughs> enough to make this up. I mean, still, though, you've never really just been like, hey, mom, 
Come on, let's be serious. Like, just be serious with me. Well, there was this one night that I got drunk. Ooh, preamble to all great stories. Okay, don't get excited. I sent an email. An email? Do you want to hear about it or not? Wait, a drunk email to your lesbian mother? Do I want to hear about that? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. All right, do. so in the email I said, Mom, if you are living a lie to in some way protect me, you don't have to. But then I also wrote, if you never want to talk about it, we can just pretend like the email doesn't exist. And? She obviously didn't want to talk about it because she never responded. Never. Really, not even to say like, hey, stay out of it. I mean, to be fair, I did give her the option. I can't be upset that she took it. Still though, I mean, do you think maybe that's what she was doing? Trying to protect you? I used to. Tamara, calm down. Do you know what the kids at school yell when I walk down the hall? What's eating Gilbert's great? What? Why? Because our last name is Gilbert and the answer is Linda. Why can't you just be normal? Kevin, are you made fun of because people think I'm gay? I mean, I get it, you know, or at least I did. We were teenagers, it was the 90s, but, you know, now we're adults. Our parents come from a totally different generation. I mean, maybe she was just embarrassed. I guess. My mom's really not the type of person who gives a shit what people think. Really? Not even her friends? She doesn't really have friends. It's just kind of her and Linda. My operating theory used to be that she was keeping a secret for her career, but then... Mag. Have you seen my beige cargo shorts? I'm on a conference call with my office. <laughs> Sorry, my wife seems to think my name is Honey, can you? You coming? No. No, I think I'm gonna stay right here. And uh, look for a shovel because you just buried the lead. They are married? I'm sorry. It's been a saga throughout my whole life. The layers of the onion tend to peel off chronologically. So they are out? No. You just said that they were married! <laughs> so I have some news, and I wanted to run it by you before I break it to your sister. Linda and I are getting married. I thought, yes! She's finally gonna tell me the truth. <laughs> this moment! This moment is the culmination of the last 20 years of my life. But not two seconds later. Our accountant thought it would be good for tax purposes. She did not say that. She did indeed. It was as if I were to tell you, oh, hey, my buddy Greg and I, we're going to tie the knot, but it's cool. Got to get that deduction, right? Yes. That is the story she would have me believe. <laughs> <sighs> uh. OK, so. Just to be clear, it doesn't bother you that your mother is a lesbian, right? No. It bothers me that she won't tell me the truth. Yeah. No, I, I get it. Look, if it was my mother, I would have dragged her out of the closet the minute that she put a vibrator in Linda's stocking. It was a back massager. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> The point is this, it's her life, her decision. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's just, my mom worked herself to death, raising two kids on her own. Yeah. More than anything, I just, I remember just her looking exhausted all the time. Then when her and Linda took their relationship from Golden Girls to Everybody Loves Raymond, for the first time, she seemed... Happy. Yeah. Like she was finally enjoying life. Mm -hmm. How much brighter could she shine if she wasn't hiding a part of who she is? So, uh, what's your dad like? 
She gotta grow up to say it. 